Dear brothers and sisters, last night I heard the Lord say, Have I brought your sons this far to not let them see the crossing of the Red Sea? Then I had a dream about a gigantic theatrical production that would be well attended, followed by an award show. Everyone needed a ticket to enter, and all who did not have a ticket were turned away. Some who had been turned away went to get a ticket and then returned so they could enter. Once inside, the elaborate theatrical production was in various stages of development. Initially, all the seats and nearly everything inside was covered with sheets. Then the setup began with people carrying tables around. Dancers began practicing their new moves. Chairs for VIP actors and actresses were set up. Sound checks began. The stage was central and the curtain was getting ready to be lifted. The audience gathered around. The show began. The audience interacted. I got to change the props that formed the backdrops that displayed pictures on stage. Then everyone was supposed to put on their sailor's hats. A boat was sinking as people snickered about something that they hid under the covers to giggle about while on the sinking boat, ignoring the beautiful view ahead. Meanwhile, the teachers and the varsity volleyball players were preparing to play a match. The necessity of having the correct knee pads was emphasized even for those on the bench, should they be called upon to pray. I called my husband, representing the bridegroom of the church, Jesus Christ. I called him at the airport terminal at the end when people are deciding to go up or down to discuss the words he'd spoken to me about TV porn being diffused among a large number of people. So, to interpret the stream, we begin with the journey through the wilderness. In Exodus 14, verses 10 and following, the Israelites basically ask God, Have you brought us this far only to let us die? Moses tells the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. When the Israelites couldn't see a way out of the wilderness, God parts the Red Sea. And you can pause and read these scriptures more fully if you'd like to. The earth, because of sin, in the context of my dream, is the wilderness. And God parts the waters. Genesis 1 says, When God says, Let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God separates the waters, and that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heaven. Praise the Lord. So then, many years later, God makes a way to heaven for all who will believe. God is preparing heaven for all who will enter, for all who have a T for ticket, so to speak. God says, I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that where I am, you will be also. God will graciously give you a ticket to heaven, so to speak, if you place your faith in his saving grace. Then, once in heaven... Everyone will have a part to play, and all will be rewarded. The show is about to begin. The curtain is about to be lifted. Everyone needs to get ready to sail across the Red Sea, so to speak, and to put on their sailors' hats. Some people aren't looking at the view out the window, noticing the beautiful horizon up ahead, the soon crossing over to our homeland in heaven, but instead have started sinking, snickering about the TV porn they watch and hide under cover. The teachers and the varsity volleyball players know the importance of getting down on their knees, their knee pads, so to speak, to make some great saves. Even those who feel like the least of these on the bench can have their knee pads on and help pull for the win through prayer. So that being said, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have not brought us all this way to let us die in the wilderness. We thank you that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. 
We thank you for the beautiful views you give us of your soon return and of our homeland in heaven. Help your children not to sink into sin. Help, help your children today, Lord. Help us to continue in prayer and to have victory over sin. Come quickly, Maranatha, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Amen. And I just want to add a quick note that, you know, I am sharing my dreams and interpreting my dreams, um, but the reliability of Scripture can't be questioned. And so if you would like to study any of these things further, I encourage you to go to the Scriptures. Um, The New Testament speaks of Jesus' death on the cross, and Genesis speaks of God's creation, and Revelation speaks of the end times, and Jesus is coming soon. He says so in his word, and he wants to save the world and not to condemn the world. But time is running out, so put your faith in him. God bless you. Amen.